Alright everyone, this is going to be the final video I'm going to do for for at least this round, um, this bout of uploads. Because if you'll notice, these videos are kind of coming out at you all at once. Um, basically, I found I found my groove, I found my streak, and I kind of just rolled with it. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do text engraving in SolidWorks. Um, this isn't too difficult of a process so it's going to be a really straightforward video I'm just going to sketch out a basic shape and then do the text engraving across it um, so this won't take too much time so let's get to it create a new part then what we'll do is we'll create a sketch I mean let's go Let's go an inch by two inches. So that we can double it off to, to two by four. So then we have our basic shape, exit the sketch as usual, extrude it, let's go up, up a quarter inch, and then we'll go back to sketch, we'll sketch on this face, and you'll notice you have this funny tool here that says sketch is text. And at this point it should be fairly self-explanatory what you do with this tool. So we'll just type some generic stuff. Now, if this is the best we can do, this isn't a whole hell of a lot. Um, but if you notice, you can go, you can decide to, you know, can the use document font option and pick your own. Now the ranges aren't as good as what you would find in Photoshop, so don't get your hopes up that you'll be able to put it in wingdings. Also the Editing options for fonts, I mean, for text manipulation, seems to be a little bit lackluster in terms of its usability. Obviously we can put it in italics, we can put it in bold. Let's go with that. We'll exit that sketch, go over and extrude this entire set of curves downwards except this time we'll go down an eighth of an inch so halfway to the model finalize the cut and then you'll see when you go to isometric that it is indeed cut into the model So again, that's basically it for text engraving. Um, this was really quick because there wasn't a whole lot to show you. I mean, all the concepts were pretty much dealt with. I've basically beat into you the hard way over the course of the, of, over the course of the past videos. So again, a lot of these things do require that you play with them. Um, the in the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to actually show you how to model. I mean, how to extrude and cut in logos, so abstract designs, things that aren't boiled down to text. What this is going to require is that you create a, a sketch that approximates the logo and you punch it in. So more about in the next video. All right. Take